Is bigger always better when it comes to buying an RV? Do you like feeling like you're towing a mansion when you hit the open road? Today we're going to share with you five things to consider when purchasing and why we went with the smaller Coleman 17B. Stay tuned. Now before we jump into the video guys, just keep in mind this isn't our first camper by any means. Matter of fact, I think it's our seventh or eighth. I can't even remember anymore. I mean, we've owned multiple pop-ups. We have almost five years of experience at a seasonal site uh, where we've had everything from fancy fifth wheel campers, two of them there. We had a nice travel trailer with the deck and the whole nine yards set up there. Uh, we bounced around with a double slide 28 footer before so i feel like we definitely have experience in all sorts of different campers and that's kind of what we're basing this on now let's start with the most obvious perk smaller camper equals smaller price i mean who wants to take a second mortgage out or even make a mortgage size payment sometimes for 10 or 15 years every single month you don't have to break the bank in order to hit the open road guys with a smaller rv you're going to have more money in your pocket left over for camping essentials those fancy site reservations and i know my wallet's thanking me for buying a smaller one number two they are way lighter to tow probably want to consider what your vehicle can tow in in the first place but this coleman 17b is under 3,000 pounds dry um so it's pretty much capable of being towed by any pickup truck or suv matter of fact we went camping a couple weeks ago and somebody was towing one of these by a subaru forester now would i recommend doing that probably not but were they out on the campground having fun yes also you're going to notice a huge difference in your budget when towing one of these versus towing something eight or nine thousand pounds on gas mileage alone so if you don't want to feel like a salmon struggling to swim upstream a smaller lighter choice might be the answer for you number three and one of the biggest reasons for us is going to be your campsite availability I mean, why do you guys want to be limited to the site the size of a football field when you can have your pick of anything that's left open available? A lot of times we wait until a couple days before we go to book our sites and we're not limited by availability due to size because this thing can fit into sites only larger RVs ever dream of. More sites equal more adventures and who doesn't want that? Number four, maneuverability. We all know how tight it can be on some of these campground roads and I've seen some horror stories of people trying to back up their 30, 40, 50 foot rigs before. These smaller RVs you can fit in anywhere and they're not hard to back up at all. It also opens up way more flexibility as far as maybe taking these things off grid. Um, I'd hate to be in a situation where you're trying to take a 30 or 40 foot somewhere on an unbeaten path. All the time we use hip camp for example we'll put a description down below for you guys but this thing is so easy to get back and around trees and wherever you need to be definitely something to consider before purchasing number five maintenance costs say goodbye to costly repairs guys would you rather replace two tires or four fill one propane tank or two oh brakes need work you want to replace all four or just two you get the point RV costs, repair costs can put a huge dent in your pocket. So maybe consider one of these smaller, less maintenance, less cost involved with that campers to keep more of that dough where it belongs. Now guys, don't get me wrong. We're not saying there's anything wrong with a big, beautiful camper. We absolutely love them. Matter of fact, we love going to the RV shows. We went to one over the winter time. We'll put a link down below for you guys to check it out. And some of them there were two, three hundred thousand dollars and absolutely beautiful. Uh, everybody's circumstances are different. Maybe you got a bigger family. Maybe you need more sleeping arrangements. Maybe you've owned one of these smaller ones as your starter and you've upgraded to something nice. But for us, it's time for another little adventure with our beautiful little camper. You guys can check that video out on Monday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you then.